All that remains of a single engine RV9 is bent metal and smoke. Well, I was sitting in my car, getting ready to do my rounds here at the rest stop, and uh, I heard a loud pop. That pop, the sound of a small plane with two people on board, Anthony Dyer helps maintain the nearby rest area and witness it all. I got out of the car and looked around, and I looked down to the field, and uh, there was flames about 25 feet high, and it's right here at the airfield, so I knew a plane went down. The Ottawa Executive Airport landing strip is right here, not even 400 feet away from the crash site. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was crying this morning. I had a mental breakdown. It, it was the smell. Late Saturday afternoon, authorities identified the crash victims as 61-year-old Dale DeWeese, the pilot, and his 59-year-old wife, Joyce. Their plane crashed into a field on Don Steenwick's farm. This is the first time in all the years that we've lived here. The airport's probably been here close to 30 years, and we've never had any incident here. The DeWeeses also live nearby. Their neighborhood backs up to the airport. And uh, so this is a total surprise this morning on a very quiet, clear morning to have a, uh, something like this happen. It's a total shock to me. Now federal investigators are working to determine why this early morning flight ended so suddenly. In Zealand, Leona Dunn, 13 on your side.